Hello and welcome back to AG World Springles and the Glam Doll. Today we are here with episode 3 of the Glam Doll. So this week's theme was Culture Week and this week the photographers had to take a picture of their doll doing something or being somewhere that represented their culture, country, or state that they live in. So everyone did such an amazing job this week with their photos. They are all great photographers and I really liked all of your photos and how creative you all got. Another disclaimer is that if the picture is blurry, it is my fault, not the photographer's fault because like I, like I said in a past video, YouTube can sometimes make the pictures blurry. So that is my fault, not theirs. So with that said, let's get started at looking at the pictures. So this picture is of Lily Bell and she is celebrating 4th of July and she is representing the country America. So I really like this picture. I think the firework looks great and it really represents 4th of July. When I saw this picture, I thought of that holiday immediately. I love Lily Bell's outfit and the background is very nice and the dog next to her is so cute. So great job. So this picture is of Amber and she did the state California in the US. I really like this picture. I love the background Amber is in and how the Golden Gate Bridge is showing. I love Amber's outfit and how her eyes really stand out and are very bright. I think you did a really good job and immediately when you see this picture you think of California so great job. So this picture is of Luna and she decided to do the South America. So she did a jungle scene for South America since that part of America is kind of jungle. So I really like this picture. I love Luna's outfit and how it looks as if she were going to explore and how it actually looks like she's in the jungle and she's about to explore. The only thing is that maybe I would have liked for Luna to be looking at the camera. But that's the only thing, so great job. So this picture is of Della and she did the state Michigan. I really like this picture and how you represented Michigan in many different ways. I love how in her shoes they say Michigan and how you said that she is in a lake because Michigan has a lot of lakes since it rains a lot and I love how you added the raincoat since you said it rained a lot and how she's shaped like a mitten so that's why her hand is up. And I just think you added a lot of detail to this and many things that had to do with Michigan. So I really like this. Great job. So this next picture is a face and she decided to do Australia. So this, I think this picture is very cute. The lighting is amazing as always. So the way you represented Australia was through nature because you said that bushes and nature was a big part of Australia. And I think that's also very true. Maybe the dog could be looking at the camera. I think you did a really good job with telling me how nature is a big impact on Australia. And maybe just do something more to make it represent Australia. But overall, great job. So this next picture is of Emerson. And she is doing the state of Indiana. So I think you did a really good job. I really love this picture. I love the poster Emerson is holding in her hand, the corn in her next to her. And I know that you said that in Indiana there were a lot of corn stalks. So I think you got very creative with the background and the corn next to her. And I love how one eye is down and how she looks as if she were like blinking. So I really like this picture. Great job. So this picture is of Mary Elaine and she did the state of Michigan. I think you did a really good job with this picture. I love how the lake is in the background because now that I know that Michigan has a lot of lakes, so now I know how that represents Michigan. I love how Mary Elaine is on a picnic and the only thing is that the part at the bottom is cut off, but you said that was the editor's fault, so it's not yours. But overall, I really like this picture and how much detail you put into it. So great job. So this picture is of Evie and she decided to do Australia. 
So all the things around her are wattles from a wattle tree. And you said that those were native from Australia. So again, I think you did a great job representing something from Australia, nature. Um, and I love the hat Evie is wearing. I think you did a great job with it. The lighting is very good. And even though her face isn't very bright, which I would have liked, it's still a very great picture. So awesome job. So this picture is of Sage and she decided to do the state of Texas. I actually really like this picture. I love Sage's outfit, how she looks like someone from Texas. Even just looking at her, that would remind you of Texas. The hat looks very cute on her and her shirt is amazing. Looks like something from someone from Texas would wear and her braids are adorable. I really like the welcome to Texas. Maybe I would have liked to see a Texas flag or something like that. But other than that, great job. And this last picture is of Ember and she chose to do London. So I, at first I didn't really know what country or state it was, but then when I saw her outfit that actually really reminded me of London. The only thing is that maybe you could have the background be more interesting, something to represent London more and something that would remind you more of it. Maybe a British flag or something like that or something you would find in London. And the lighting is great, so awesome photo. Now that we've seen all the pictures, I'm going to put all the photos from best photo to bottom two. Best photo of this week goes to Lilibel. I think you did a great job representing your state. Second place goes to Amber. Third place goes to Emerson. Fourth to Della. Fifth place goes to Luna. Sixth goes to Sage. Seventh place goes to Mary Elaine. Eighth place goes to Evie. Ninth place goes to Ember. And tenth place goes to Faith. So with that said, the person I'm going to have to eliminate this week is no one. So this week I just did not have the heart to eliminate anybody. I just really loved all your pictures and you all got so creative making your pictures and expressing your culture, state or country. I just could not pick anyone to disqualify or eliminate from this week. So next week's theme is seasons. So by seasons, I mean that you have to take a picture representing a season like winter, spring, summer, or fall. So for next week's theme, what you could do is maybe an activity you do in that season. So ice skating, hockey, swimming, just get creative, do an, any activity, or just do a picture that represents a season like your doll in snow to represent winter or something like that. Just get creative and have fun with it. Now, the deadline for next week's picture is on Wednesday the 26th at 10 p.m. Central Time. Please, 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 please meet the deadline because I've had over the weeks people who don't mean the deadline and I can't film until they give me their pictures. So please meet the deadline and let me know if you can't, but please do. So Wednesday, September 26th at 10 p.m. Central Time. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed this week's video of the Glam Doll. Make sure to stay tuned for next week's episode. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And thank you guys so, so much for 386 subscribers. You guys are awesome, and I know we can get to 400 um, as soon as possible. So, thank you so much for watching, and hope you guys enjoyed this video. Bye! See you next week! She's gone! Oh no, I had to turn off the camera. <laughs>